YouTube Shorts are exploding channels and growing subscribers. And the more videos you have, the more growth your channel will experience. But making these videos does take a lot of time. But to save time, you can use AI and NVIDIA's automated features to create videos fast. And today I'll show you exactly how you can do that. But I'll tell you why you should use NVIDIA. Because while you can try it for free, I highly recommend you try the paid version to get all the benefits. It's simple and it's very fast to use. But how easy? Well, I made this intro in less than 30 minutes using NVIDIA. And there's a ton of stock footage, images, and audio from places like iStock or Shutterstock that you can use when using the paid plan with over 8 million royalty-free clips to choose from. You can save time also by working off one of their 6,000 video templates that are available. So you can try for free, but to download your videos, you must sign up for the paid plan. What's really exciting is they're launching a complete AI-powered video editor, which I'll be covering once it's released. So today we're gonna to create a YouTube short and using almost entirely AI to get this video done. Now, NVIDIA is an excellent platform, but they are also the sponsor of this video. So if you wanna check it out, don't forget to use the link in the description below and the discount code WADE25OFF to get a 25% discount and save even more money when signing up for NVIDIA. So let's get into it. Now first, we're gonna write a basic script. I'm gonna use some AI to help me. So I've headed over to ChatGPT, pop a link in the description, and I'm basically gonna give it a prompt. Write me a short one minute video script for the best exercises to grow muscle at the gym. So we're gonna do a short about fitness and weightlifting. Let's hit enter and see what we get. Now again, there's a few things I can see with this. For one, I don't really want to include the host, so I can simply come in here and type. I wanna remove any mention of the host in the video. So now I have this script and ChatGPT did a pretty good job, but I can't use it as it is because I essentially want to create a script that NVIDIA is just going to use for text. So I can create kind of like a faceless video uh, and I have a few options I'll go over while we're doing that, but just now I'm going to copy this text. Now I've popped this into a word editor and I'm going to edit this text to suit what I need. Now it says here, a scene. Uh, with the weights now, I don't really care too much about what we're doing in regard to the scene because video in video is actually going to find a scene for us, or we can go and change it out ourselves. So I'm going to just simply delete that. Where it says text overlay, I'm going to remove that. Best exercises grow muscle at the gym. Exercise one: barbell squats. And we don't want to repeat ourselves, so we go over, and I can just add in this information as it is. Exercise two, deadlifts. And I'm essentially going to remove any extra text, like I'm gonna just keep it as exercise one. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to bold this up to separate it. Anytime it says voiceover, I will remove the inverted commas. And so essentially what I'm gonna do for each exercise here, I'm just gonna create a bold title so I can see what I'm looking at. And I'm gonna leave what the presenter says just in plain text. And then I've got a few little bits at the end here. The thanks for watching bit I'm going to remove because of being a short, I want them to keep watching. I don't want them to know the short is over. I'd rather loop over. And I'm going to keep these here. So what I've got now essentially is some text. Now I may also want to review what it says here to find if, see if there's a way I can shorten it. So I might remove a few words just to kind of get it a little more concise for someone watching the video. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've removed all the excess information. And what I want here is, is pretty much just the information I want to show up in the video. So this will be one screen, this will be the next screen, this will be the next screen. That's kind of what we're looking at here is producing text that's gonna show up on the screen. This still might be a bit long, but we're gonna see what we can make of it within video. So I simply, once again, remove that. I copy all of this information and I head over to NVIDIA. Now I'm logged into NVIDIA, I'm using the unlimited plan, but you can do this with the business plan yourself. Uh, but what I essentially do is I go to create new, I'm gonna go AI text to video. And now I simply choose the template because what they do is they have certain styles that it'll actually fit your video into and it just makes it a little bit easier to get things done a lot quickly. You may notice this one from the intro I did earlier. Here we have a motiv motivational exercise video or interesting fitness tips. Let's try this one here. So because I'm doing using a short, I want to go for a portrait size video and it shows me what I'm going to get with that video. Pretty well branded with the black and the orange. You can see here that each step. So I think that looks good. Portrait for a short, I'm going to hit use template. And now all I do is click here 
And I can ask AI to write the script, but I've already got one from ChatGPT, so I'm gonna right click, go paste, and you can see I have a script here. So I'm gonna click create scenes and see what we can come up with. Also, because I'm using the unlimited plan, I'm gonna actually auto suggest images from iStock and from premium as well to try and get the best results I can and click create scenes. It wants to rearrange it to, to fit, so I'm gonna click yes. As you can see, it's actually reorganized the script a little bit for me, so it's actually optimized it for video. Now let's hit create. After a minute or two, it's produced this layout with some scenes. You can see here, it's got here, best exercises to grow muscle at the gym, barbell squats with some information, deadlifts, a little bit more information about deadlifts, bench press. It's broken it up into about 21 different sort of slides, which I think is pretty, is pretty cool. Now, the overall video might be a bit long, so we might end up actually removing four and five because the maybe it just doesn't suit but we'll see how we go and what we got is we've got our information on the left over here and we can reorganize this information if we need to but i'm happy with it as it is we can edit it if we want to we can duplicate we can remove it uh we've got our we got options there and if i click on it as i said i can edit that information but on the right here we've got each individual slide and this is not the only way this editor works there is actually a more detailed editor but we're going to go through and just check out each of these slides to try and make sure we've got the right imagery for each one. So you can see here, this picture with exercise doesn't really suit the idea of muscle at the gym. So I'm gonna go over here. I can choose to upload something if I want to, but we're gonna rely entirely on NVIDIA's library. So if I go to videos here and just type in muscle, I've got some footage here. This one might be a bit wide to fit. Although, so maybe this one here, story box, we can drag it and replace what was there. Now, I this here will try to insert the entire clip, but what I wanna do is kind of meet this line here. So I'm gonna to go to the far end and drag this to here, and now it's there on our timeline. I click Add. Trim video to fit scene. You notice there was a little image back there. So I've got the first one, which is some footage. Next one we have here. So you can see it's chosen an image for us. However, this slide here, if I click on it, go back to the script, is barbell squats. So this guy doesn't necessarily look like he's doing a barbell squat. So what I need to do is I'm gonna to go to images and type in squat. You see here, this person is doing a squat. So I'm going to drag that image in instead. And so this is the first part of the process. I'm gonna go through with each one and review the media and replace anything that needs to be replaced so that we can get the best result. You notice here I'm trimming the video to fit the scene because I don't want to have the video be too short and run out. Also, I don't want it to be too long and extend the scene. So I trim video to fit scene and I keep going. Now I'm actually gonna refine this because I do think it is a little bit too long. So I'm gonna head back to script and I'm gonna get rid of exercises four and five because I believe they're unnecessary. So I'm actually gonna just simply, no, I'm gonna simply remove these one by one. I click on the little bin icon. Be careful to take note of which number the last one is so you don't accidentally <laughs> remove it. So now we've gotten rid of those exercises and I can keep going. Now I've put all the images on there and you can sort of make some basic movements as well. Nothing too drastic, some resizing. So I can go through each one, make sure I'm happy, move some things around. I've got my logo in the corner there. Uh, you can actually set a logo if you want to. There's like a brands area uh, under logo here. I have my emblem, but uh, you can actually upload a logo and it'll pop that in the corner of your videos. But ultimately this, I've put all the images in so we've got our script, we've got some images. Let's head to the editor and take a look. Okay, so now we're actually in the editor itself and you can see how it's kind of stitched the scenes together. Now we can actually preview this. So I'm just gonna hit play for a moment. Now that music, that music is very cool, but I don't know if I really like it. I think I'd like to replace it. I'm gonna click on this and hit delete. 
And under music on the left here, I can choose something a little less sort of full on as we might want to add a voiceover or something like that. Um, so let's just go with Sirius. As you can see, there's over 5,000 different <laughs> songs we can use now. Uh, because it's a short, it doesn't need to be overly long, but let's just see what we've got here. See, this is a little less aggressive. I can go through and play others, but I think I'll add this one. So now we hit play. Has a bit of vibe, I believe. So what I can do now is I want to add a voiceover. So you got this little voiceover section here and I can import, so I can import from an upload or I can upload a voiceover file or even record one straight within NVIDIA if I have a mic, but I'm using that to record the video at the moment. So I'm gonna go automated text to speech. And you see here, uh, we've got some voices, some languages, we've got realistic or legacy. We we'll stick with realistic because we want it to sound pretty straightforward. Now I can go here and there's a bunch of different voice types I can use. If I hit the play button, I can sample them. Hello, hope you are having a great time making your video. Hello, hope you are having a great time making your video. All right, let's go with Nathan and click generate voiceover. And on top of that, we want to add this to our other scenes, click add. So now we have our voiceover and I hit play. Best exercises to grow muscle at the gym. Exercise one. Now one thing I'll notice is that the music is a bit loud for the voice and the voice actually doesn't look that loud at all. So, uh, but what I'm gonna do is actually take this audio track here for the music and go to volume. And I'm gonna just bring it down a bit. And what I can do also is if I want to, I can increase the volume for this, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is and just kind of keep that down and try again. Sizes to grow muscle at the gym. Exercise. Now, according to the waveforms, it looks like it gets louder here. So let's try that out. And with a straight back, drive through your heels and lift the bar until you're standing tall. So one thing you'll notice now is, of course, we've got our voiceover and it sounds pretty good. We've got some music, but uh, the actual track here is 12 seconds too long for a short. So we actually need to shorten the audio. And there's a way you can do that. You can actually, basically, we can zoom in a bit down the bottom and you'll notice each audio track has a bit of space before and after. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to grab the handles and crop those in a little bit. And keeping an eye on the audio wave, if I zoom in a bit more on this one here, you can see it's pretty quiet. There's no activity in the audio wave. So we can just go through and we can shorten those and cut out some of those pauses. And at the same time, you'll notice, if I zoom out, our clip remains the same length. But if I zoom, see it's got a minute and 12 here. If I shrink this clip down, it actually moves everything down and we've actually gained a bit of time there. So as long as I keep sort of shrinking these down, it'll actually decrease the length of the whole video. So I'm gonna go through and what I would recommend doing that is just shortening the audio track and then shortening the actual clip that goes with it. So we're just gonna quickly do that. Keep in mind, if you run into any issues using this software, they do have 24 seven support, which is pretty much unheard of for a video editor software. So you have plenty of backup when dealing with NVIDIA. So now that I've reorganized that and got it under a minute, I'm gonna hit play and see how we go. Best exercise is to grow muscle at the gym. Exercise one. Barbell squat, barbell squat. So at this stage, we actually have something we could produce as a short, but we don't want to stop there. I'm going to just show you a few more things we can actually do with this. Uh, this is a bit of a loaded short. I might would I would probably consider shortening the script next time. Uh, I could still do that if I want to right now, but uh, for the sake of the video, we will move on because yeah, we can also go in and we can add more text if we want to by clicking any of this and it'll add it on there. We can also go into our elements, add in other bits and pieces. Maybe we can try typing in something like muscle and putting something like this in here if we wanted to. We can click add and it'll pop it on the screen for us to move around. Now, one thing to also consider is that uh, we can change some colors around. So maybe the last slide, I don't want to be orange. If I click on the background, I can change the color altogether. I can also just change my project colors. So if I want to, under the template default, I can click on this orange change that or I can click if I click on the background here I can choose the black make the background black so I can actually replace that 
So I can go through and change colors easily enough, although I think it actually looked better orange. So I will pop the orange back on there. So you can easily go through and change the color by selecting various areas. And if you need to break it down further, you can click on a slide and click on layers and it'll actually bring up every item and I can go through and select them if I want to. But I don't think that's necessary in most cases. In most cases, we can just simply select the items we want to right here and move them around. So we can easily make changes to the layout if we decide that we want to, or if some of the text is too small. The other thing too is we can change the transitions. So if I click on this little box here with the arrow, it's using an arrow transition for a lot of this stuff. Uh, as you can see, it sort of has some arrows coming across. I could do something different and go to new. And one I used earlier was actually the glitch. So if I click on glitch, and you can see I've got some, I can change the direction, change some bits and pieces around. And this one says arrow, and glitch slides. And now if I come back, you can see it glitches in like this. Probably not a great choice. So I might click on that and put it back to arrow or slide left even. So now it goes to the left. So you've got a few options there and there's a bunch of like transitions here you can, and it can explore and really customize everything, including with some some imagery and things like that. All you need to do is just kind of like hover over them to see what the transition looks like. So there's a whole bunch of transitions you can add as well. So it's very easy to pop a script in there, have it automate a video, do text to speech on it, and then also just, you can explore further, you can customize it further if you want to uh, and go from there. But now if you head back to storyboard, you can actually still go in and add in scenes in between. If you decide you want to add something in there, you can add in anything. You can add a blank sort of video and build it yourself. Uh, you can do the same back in the normal editor where I can add a scene here. I can also choose from template. You can see I've got this template here. I can click on that and pick which one I want to actually take and use. So you've got a whole bunch of different options to customize it further and still be in line with your template if you want to do that. But let's just export this and see how we go. So I go up the top here when I'm done and I click export. I want a 1080p video here. And as you can see, there's a monthly quota of I've used six, six iStock media. And I have 108 remaining after this export. So I click export. So you notice here it's rendering. You simply give it a bit of time to render and before you know it, your video will be ready to download. So let's quickly check out some of that video. Best exercises to grow muscle at the gym. Exercise one, barbell squat. Barbell squats target your quadriceps. So I think that's pretty cool, but there's so much more you can do with it. If you wanna learn more, highly recommend you check out the NVIDIA YouTube channel so you can get more tutorials and dive a little bit deeper into this. And if you do sign up, don't forget, use the code in the description below and pop in the promo code WADE25 off for a 25% discount. But what's really exciting is the AI editor they have coming. Simple type in, a, type in a simple prompt and it'll actually produce a video. I'm gonna pop the video on the screen in a minute they've sent me that you can check out and see what they have planned. And it's pretty cool. The video is entitled, Me at the Zoo and features Kareem standing in front of some elephants at the San Diego Zoo. Despite its simplicity, the first YouTube video. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you found it exciting. Once again, links are in the description below if you want to check out in video or any of the resources associated with it. Otherwise, I hope you found it useful and interesting. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.